Large-scale power consumers in Uganda will be prioritized with much lower end tariff in the next quarter once they have a trillion shilling refinancing agreements for Bujagali Energy Limited are fully endorsed by the Attorney General. We expect to close refinancing of Bujagali within the next two weeks. As we, as we speak now, uh, most of the agreements have been signed by both parties, the government of Uganda representatives, but also the Bujagali Energy Limited representatives. With an annual tax break of nearly 40 billion shillings over the next five years, for the power producer offered by government, taking effect next week, the industrial sector players are expected to reap from a reduction in end-user tariff by up to 30 percent. We expect the benefit of refinancing to be reflected in tariff to be announced by a regulator in the next quarter how much we shall be paying and to be reduced, not going upwards. It is going downwards. The refinancing of the $502 million led by the International Finance Corporation, IFC, aims at broadening the span of the utility date in order to shift end user tariff downwards from 13 cents of a dollar per kilowatt to 8 cents of a dollar. We need to have some things, paradigm shift. On, for example, we are talking about tariff stabilization fund being fronted, yes. An operator makes extra money, should go in the tariff stabilization fund. In the case, it is that these tariff shocks, then this comes in. Reina Ojon, NTV Business.